today let's find out if OP is or is not the asshole. Let's go. Am I the asshole for refusing to pay for coffee? Okay, hmm, let's find out. My sister-in-law was on her way to my house for a family road trip. She said she was stopping by Starbucks for coffee, and I said get me a hot coffee. She said she's getting me an iced coffee because it's too hot to be drinking hot coffee. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of like that too, a little bit. I mean, like, I don't really care what the temperature outside is. Sometimes I just enjoy a hot cup of coffee or even like a cup of tea. It's pretty nice. I said, no, I don't like iced coffee. Get me a hot one. She showed up with two iced coffees. Honestly, I'm not a morning person and I couldn't be bothered to argue. So I said, it's fine. She handed it to me and I told her I'm not drinking that. In the car, she asked me to Venmo her for the coffee. I said, why would I do that? She said because I got you a coffee. Well, obviously it wasn't for me, so I said no. Now she's mad and honestly, I don't care. My mom says I should send the money. My dad and brother, however, say I'm not in the wrong. And I would agree with them too, you're not in the wrong. She said she was stopping by Starbucks and you just asked her a hot coffee, so you told her straight out hot coffee. But she made the decision to get you an iced coffee because it's too hot outside. And you said yourself, like, you didn't even drink it, so why are you gonna pay for something you didn't even drink? She paid for two iced coffees, so now she can enjoy two iced coffees. Uh, what do you want me to do with the iced coffee? Stick it up your ass. Than a motherfucking Flintstone. Am I the asshole for charging my mom the same amount that I charge my other customers? When I lived with my parents, I did various odd jobs around the house to earn money. Cleaning the rain gutters, replacing the air filters, changing the hoses on the washing machine, etc. My mom would pay me for these jobs, though it wasn't much, usually 20 bucks, and was more for me to have some spending cash while I'm still in school. This was fine when I was living with my parents. Now, however, I live by myself in another city and work as a handyman. I typically charge by the hour as well as materials, and a trip fee if it's out of the area I normally service. The other day, my mom called and asked if I can come over and replace the hoses underneath the bathroom sink, and there was a leak. I said, sure, no problem. I was coming from another job and did not have the materials I knew I would need on hand. So I went to the home center and got some hoses as well as new shut-off valves on my way to my parents' house. Working under the sink is an uncomfortable job. Yeah, yeah it is. As it involves laying on your back and using special wrench to disconnect the hoses. I was hoping that I would simply be able to change the hoses and be good to go. However, the valves under the sink started leaking. I was expecting this, hence why I got the shut-off valves. Unfortunately, replacing them meant shutting off the water to the entire house. Removing the old valves, cleaning and applying flux to the copper pipes, then soldering on the new valves. But once I got everything installed, it was working and no leaks. Awesome. When I finished the job, I gave my mom a copy of the invoice and told her she could send me the check later, as I had another job and I needed to get going. She said, oh, that's right, and handed me 20 bucks. I asked what the 20 was for, and she told me that it was for the entire job. I told her that it wasn't enough and that I expected the rest of the money when she wrote the check. She told me that she never agreed to pay me that much, even though I told her when she initially called me that I would be charging my usual rate. She asked me why I was charging her so much when 20 used to be the amount she would pay me. I told her that 20 bucks was fine when I was living with her and still in school, but this is my actual job now. Hence why I'm charging the same rates I charge my other customers, something that I thought she already knew. She asked if I could give her a family discount. I agreed and waived the tip fee. Though I still insisted she pay me for everything else as I was doing this job as a part of my normal workday. And I can't make a living on a $20 project. We argued for about several minutes as I was running late for my next job, so I packed up my stuff and went on my way. When I got home, both my parents were on my case about not giving them a family discount. I reiterated that this is my job and I cannot make a living on giving discounts. I feel like my prices are reasonable and my friends are on my side, but my parents are continuing to give me a hard time. Am I the asshole? Okay, there is an edit here, but I'm just gonna go in and throw in my two cents. Uh, I get that you are make okay, fair, you are trying to make a living and I totally agree with you wanting to charge your parents the full amount because you know this is this is your livelihood here. But if it was me and this was my situation, I wouldn't have charged my family. I mean, I get it, I get it. It's taking time out of your workday. 
you know, I'm not a plumber, but I have worked on my my pipes. I know all the work that goes into it, the parts and all this stuff. So I'm not an expert on it, but I have a good idea of how much this stuff costs. I, I don't know. I, I, I guess I just love my family too much and I wouldn't want to charge them. At, at least not the full amount, I guess. Like, like 20 bucks. Okay, tw I'll say 20 bucks. 20 bucks is not enough. We'll say that. You also didn't say how much this job would usually cost normally. So how far away is 20 bucks from the actual amount? I'm assuming like triple digits. I don't know. It's a hard decision because I'm not you. I'm only saying what I would do and I wouldn't charge my family a lot. Yeah, I would do it just because I love my family and I would, you know, happily help them out. But uh, anyways, let's read the edit. Edits. I scheduled this job as a part of my regular workday. And I already gave my mom a rough estimate for what the job would entail, which included my regular hourly fee as well as money for the parts. I did, however, waive my trip fee, and I had told her all of this, which is why it took me by surprise when she gave me 20 bucks for the entire job. If this were a day where I was visiting my parents and while I was there, one of the hoses sprung a leak, paying me 20 bucks for the whole thing would have made more sense. But this cuts into my regular workday, and if my mom hadn't asked me to come over during my workday, I would have been at another customer's house. Oh, there's like three edits here. Edit, this is not a job I should undertake unless they know exactly what they're doing, as it involves soldering, which is something most people would not feel comfortable doing on their own, and shouldn't attempt unless they know what they are doing. Alright, edit number three. 20 bucks is the amount my parents would pay me for the occasional odd job while I was living with them and going to community college. They paid for most of my expenses and the occasional odd job was maybe once a month. This is no longer the case. I am completely independent from my parents. I live in an apartment with my roommate and split the cost of rent with him. I pay for everything else myself. This job I did for my parents was somewhat of an emergency as they couldn't shut off the water. I agreed to waive my usual travel fee, but otherwise charged them my normal rate, which my mom initially agreed to. The 20 bucks for the entire job didn't come up until the work was done. I told her I'd send the invoice later, but had somewhere else I needed to be right then. Okay, she agreed to your normal rate. Again, you didn't specify what the rate is. I guess it's different for everyone, but what do you charge exactly? You know, if, if you're charging like, I wouldn't say it's even a thousand bucks, but like I, I can see like maybe this job since you're soldering, you know, doing all this stuff, I would say what, 500 maybe bucks or so. I could be totally wrong about that. I guess let me know down in the comments, but she did agree to your normal rates. And I guess she's just gonna assume that since you're her son that you would be fine with the 20 bucks, which is okay, an asshole part on your mom for also agreeing to this beforehand and then trying to shortchange you when the work is done. So I guess she is like an asshole for doing that to you. But at the same time, like I still say, like I wouldn't charge family a lot. I would try to help my family as much as I could. I would say you're not the asshole for this. I just wouldn't do what you did is my point so yeah hopefully this doesn't cause like a huge riff in you guys's relationship it it shouldn't really at least i hope not but uh yeah anyways everybody sucks let's move on Fuck money, diamonds and bitches don't need them. am i the asshole for not telling my boyfriend my body count body count my boyfriend 32 asked me one year into our relationship what my 27 female body count is previously to this he hadn't asked that question because he said he gave me opportunities Opportunities? What do you mean? When I was 18 to 20, I had approximately 10 sexual experiences, all drunk, blackout type. Oh, well, that's not good. All drunk, blackout type, party, and a horrible, horrible dissociative time of my life. Each experience traumatized me. I was in an extremely dark place of my life. I had lost my virginity to sexual assault at a party, so I think from there it spiraled down. Well, that's horrible. For the last eight or so years, however, I have been completely sober. I don't do casual hookup parties or anything. I live a quiet, peaceful life. No social media, etc. Well, that's good. Taking control of your life. That's awesome. Recently, my boyfriend asked me the question of body count. When he asked me, I sort of blacked out and had to recall all these past experiences. They came out slowly over time since telling him an approximate number. That was six months ago. Since then, however, he has been constantly off with me and still upset. What is he upset about? 
He thinks I lied and deceived him and he doesn't like my past. He said if he had known, it would have given him the choice to proceed with the relationship or leave. Ever since he asked me the question, I had to relive things more and more daily. It has been extremely painful for me. When we were together, I did not once ever have a memory or thought to share with him this time of my life. To me, it feels like I must have blocked it out or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you did. Something as traumatizing as that, you probably did just block it or suppress it. I have been absolutely transparent with him about this, but he is still being passively hateful towards me. I can't even ask, am I the asshole, because I didn't ever purposely hide this from him. But am I the asshole? Should I have been more thoughtful in remembering things or something? I don't know what to do anymore. All perspectives and help welcome. Edits, please note that now my past deeply ashames me. I am absolutely disgusted and will never be that person again. Second edits, hi, I just wanted to share that I haven't yet replied to each comment, but the support and help that everyone here has provided means so much to me. Thank you for your time and the opposing feedback is also heard and appreciated. Well, I'll just say like this whole thing about telling people like your body counts and stuff, especially your partner that you're with right now, if they ask you what your body count is, like why should that matter? I like I'm with, I'm with you like right now, what does my past what does my past have to do with us right now? Like if I had like 20 partners or something and you get upset because I had 20 partners, who cares? I'm with you right now. Why does my past matter? So this whole concept of like sharing your body counts and everything should just stop. All it's going to do is bring jealousy and hatred and just like this person, it's going to cause a rift with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It's just not a good idea. So OP here, I'm going to say you're not the asshole. I'm sorry for what happened to you in your past and sounds like it was very terrible and yeah you suppressed it and that's normal when when very tragic things happen in your life like a coping mechanism for a lot of people is just suppression and a lot of times they can't even recall those memories because they suppressed it so much so you're not the asshole here i would say your boyfriend is definitely the asshole for pressing the issue and once he got the info out of you he's mad at you now it's just not a good situation all around so I'm gonna go ahead and move on from this story. It was very depressing and you know, I hope OP, I hope you get help for this and hopefully you leave this guy because he's just gonna bring up more memories and it's just gonna cause more hurt and pain. So I would move on as quickly as possible, but uh, I can't force you to break up with anyone. So you do you, but right here, I'm gonna say not the asshole. Damn. Am I the asshole for not wearing a bra in my apartment when the repairman came? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see what this one's about. Am I the asshole for not wearing a bra in my own house? Well, it's an apartment, but whatever. My husband is mad at me because we had a repairman come to look at our couches and I was wearing a t-shirt, which wasn't in the least bit see-through by the way, with no bra but I had on pants. He said that even if the shirt wasn't see-through, you can still see them, my breast, sitting in the shirt. I am a large-chested woman and hiding them is literally impossible. He says that through the shirt, you can still see them jiggling and the nipple. And he's complaining about that? Bro, why are you complaining? I said that that's insane that I'm supposed to wear a bra just because someone is coming into the house that's a stranger, especially because I was fully covered by my shirt. There was zero cleavage showing. Also to add for context, I currently breastfed our youngest child who is still an infant. Being braless at home makes this much easier for me, and the repair guy was there for maybe 10 minutes max, so am I the asshole? Well, no, you're not the asshole. I mean, you're in your own house, apartment, house, whatever. If you want to be braless, you can be braless. I sort of understand, like, your husband's point of view, too. I mean, like, if someone's coming over to the house, then yeah, cover up. But you are covered up. You're wearing a t-shirt. And it's not like you're going to be like interacting with the repairman much. You're probably just going to say hi and this is the situation and then you're going to fuck off to like another part of the apartment. I don't see an issue here. Your husband obviously does. He wants you to cover up, but you did because you're wearing a t-shirt. That should be enough. I think your husband has seen one too many adult videos of like the hot housewife and the repairman coming over and you know, he's getting very insecure about that situation because he's seen it so many times in video form but uh, I'm just rambling here. It sounds like your husband doesn't even want you to interact with the repairman at all because you're showing too much. It sounds like he just wants you to be in a separate part of the apartment, which is unnecessary and stupid. So whatever your husband is dealing with here, he's gonna have to get over it because 
You know, if he's not going to be fixing these things, then it sounds like a lot more repairmen are going to come to the house when there's an issue. But from this story here, I'm going to go ahead and say you OP, not the asshole. Well, that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode of Reddit and Mighty Asshole. If you guys enjoyed these stories, go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Also, go ahead and let me know if I had any bad takes, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.